If you're just getting started with tree snap, this video will walk you through the basics of submitting an observation for a tree. First, download the tree snap app, free for iPhone or Android. Once you've done this, open the app, make an account, and log in. On the main screen, you will see a list of different trees to choose from. The trees that are profiled here are ones that our partnering scientists are currently researching. There's also an other option where you can observe information about other tree species for your own purposes. Let's walk through both of those right now. So from this list, I'm going to pick ash, but whichever tree you pick, you'll see a list of different questions that our scientific partners want you to answer. For ash, the first thing to do is to take a photo of the tree you are looking at. You can do this by clicking on that images button and taking a picture. You can take as many pictures as you want, um, but try to get a couple different photos of key features. Maybe one of the whole tree, maybe one of the leaves or buds, or if they're available, fruit or seeds. Next, just go down the list and answer the different questions. So first, we've got the question about species, what type of ash it is. If you're not sure, click the Show Examples button, and you can see some different options there, um, guiding you based on bark, twigs, and other features. Once you've done that, click on Habitat. What type of habitat is this tree located in? Is it forest, wetland, field, urban, something else? Next, it asks you about seeds and flowers. If either of them are present and you click yes, you'll be prompted to take a picture of those and submit them so we can verify the species. Next, you're asked about signs of emerald ash borer. If you're not familiar with these, you can click on the Show Examples button, and you'll see things like tunneling by EAB larvae under the bark, adult beetles, and D-shaped exit holes. Once you've done that, you're asked about the condition of trees nearby. Are they dead and dying? Are they healthy and large? Are they healthy and small? Or are you not sure? Record that information, and then you can move on to canopy health. Are the trees, is the tree healthy? Are the branches thinning? Are there some dead branches or is it completely dead? If you don't know, you can click the Show Examples button and you'll see photos of different trees in each of those conditions to measure your tree against. Next, it asks for tree diameter. You can measure this yourself and if you click the Show Examples button, it shows you how to do that or you can estimate it. Finally, it asks you about treatments. This refers to whether the tree has been treated with an insecticide for EAB. If you don't know, you can click that button, or you can click according to whether it's been treated or not. Finally, there's an option for comments if you have any about this tree, and a tree identifier. A tree identifier is if you have your own sampling scheme, some way that you've been assessing trees that you'd like to keep using. At the very end, you'll see a question about location. This should be automatically collected by your cell phone using its internal GPS, but there are advanced options available if you want to input GPS location another way. If you aren't getting a good reading on this, it's worth checking to make sure you have your phone's location services setting correctly set and that your location is being shared with the TreeSnap app. It's even easier to submit some of the other tree species on TreeSnap. For example, go back to that main page and click on Other and complete a handful of questions listed there. Of course, take a photo, again, to make sure that we can see the tree, the whole tree, or any specific features, and then answer the questions like tree diameter, tree type, which refers to species, habitat, add any comments or tree identifiers you have, and then, of course, make sure that the location on the GPS looks good. If you run into any problems with using the app, we want to help. Send us an email at help at treesnap.org. Not sure which trees to observe? Check out our partners page and learn more about the different scientists we are working with and the projects they want your help with. Thanks for listening and caring about our trees. A greener future starts with you, so visit treesnap.org to find out how you can help save our trees.